I really like what you done to me. I can't really explain it. I'm pre-ordering you. <laughs> that was cringy, but what's up, ladies and suckers? It's TVE365, and this is a rare video. I'm about to be reacting to the new NBA Run the Neighborhood trailer. It's basically, they took out the park. It's the neighborhood now. Now... <laughs> You guys know I couldn't wait. I already seen this channel about a good four times and I watched the whole entire live stream. But I just want to discuss it with you guys. So I'm going to let the trailer play one time. I may or may not pause it. I'm going to try not to pause it as much you guys can see the trailer. See it all. Because I hate when people be pausing the trailer. That just messes up the flow of the video. But without further ado, let's play this food. Three, two, one. We've already changed the game. <laughs> We made the story real and the journey epic. I bring you the president of Hoops. Oh, the president of Hoops. Good to meet you. We let orange you start juice. your own legend and test yourself against the world. NBA 2K has already transformed sports gaming. But now we're doing it on a whole new level. Because this year, you don't just play the game. You live it. Welcome to the neighborhood. But them servers are gonna be trash. That's what we be on the bike. I will be, I will be riding with them. The best part. Turn break that right real quick. AI. The best You've part got a right long here. Road to walk and a world to explore if you want to become the greatest of all we time. Have it. A world where the games get wild at the zone. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be here. But the number one place I'm and gonna be. Style gets real at Swags, where you can get a fresh cut at the barber shop, and new kicks at Foot Locker. And you're gonna need them because in the neighborhood you walk. Where's our place? Where's my home? And right there, boy, I'll be there every day working, boy. <laughs> That's where all my friends are gonna be. We're gonna be in a training day. facility. While the journey's changed. The destination never will. Along the way, earn badges, attributes, and VC anywhere you choose as you level up on the road to 99. This year, you decide how you play NBA 2K's My Career Mode. What I did tonight is what I expect for myself every single night. But remember, if you want to roll with the greats, First, you gotta run the neighborhood. I'm about to go pre order the game. I'm about to go pre order the game. I usually wait till after the prelude, but no, no, no. I'm about to hit that thing early. 2K once again taking W's. This is beautiful. Now, I know what you guys are thinking, the servers are going to be trash. We all know that. Since it's something we know, let's just throw it out the window right now. Let's just, let's just live in an imaginary world where 2K servers are perfect. And let's discuss this. First things first. Park is gone. And with this. How I like it. I like it a lot. And that's what I like about 2K. When I heard they're going to revamp my park, I thought they were going to completely change it. But they still have my park. It's still there, but they expanded it. They should say that they're gonna expand the park. It's amazing. It's gonna be so great, like rolling and cruising with your friends. That's gonna be epic. You see them on bicycles. You see them just hanging around. You see a guy on a skateboard. You can just head to a barber shop. That's the only thing I'm gonna have some problems with. I know I don't want to talk about the servers too much, but that's gonna be a huge issue. That's the only problem right now is these servers. What are they gonna do? Because everything requires you to wait in a line. To wait on the dots. Everything you see is going to require you to go in the dots, sit and wait, sit and wait, sit and wait. How are those servers going to hold up when all these people get this game? Because I know they know what this means for the community. Everybody's going to be cramped up trying to do their things. There'll be, there's like five spots on the dunk contest line. If you guys haven't seen it, I have a dunk contest, a three point shooting contest. There's going to be people filled up on the spots. What's going to happen if someone closes the application? What's going to happen? How are the servers going to hold up to this? I just feel like the only problem I have is, is there going to be a lot of waiting? I feel like there's going to be a whole bunch of waiting. 
because now you're gonna have to wait to get on the benches. You have to wait to use a workout machine. You have to wait to get your hair cut. You guys saw when you walked into a barbershop, there's people sitting in line waiting to get their hair cut. How is that gonna work? Whether someone closes their application in mid haircut, that's the only thing I wanna see how they do it. The servers are the only problem. There's nothing else. This thing is beautiful. This is perfect. There's no issues. You have the zone. You see people shooting around the zone. What happens if something lags out? Like it's just, that's the only thing. If they get these servers down, 2K has just made the greatest game mode to ever exist. Like real talk. This neighborhood looks amazing. And they still have my court. You guys may have not seen it. You might think it's gone. They still have my court. In the live stream, the dude from the Celtics, that rookie that went off, that Tatum dude, he was playing and he went in this elevator. You can still go to your my court. So my court and this, it's like crazy. 2K is always progressing. A lot of these sport games will take steps back, see the game, and then go forward. 2K is always going forward and never take any steps back. They're always improving on everything but these servers, man. Everything but these servers. Let me see if there's anything I want to break down in this trailer. You guys can see the whole park right here. I wonder how this is going to be set up. Because you see there's stairs leading to each and every like part of the like the stairs at the bottom and then this tops and then the stairs again so maybe it's like you have to be a certain overall to go to the next set of stairs and the last one is like for 99s and like high people that would be kind of cool to like separate it so like the low overalls are playing in like the the bummy part the lower section and the middles and then so you're always playing with your overall because it seems like you're going to ditch the rep system it's going to be all uh your overall is going to be your rep if you're a 99 that's when you hopefully you lock the skateboards the shirt list the Bikes. I want the bike. That's the main thing. Be cruising with your friends on the bike, and so that's why I think how it works. Because what's the point of having all these stairs and going up, and the final one being the Michael Jordans, the Legends, the Kobe's? So there may be some type of once you get to a certain stature, you get to go to that top part, and maybe the rewards are a lot better. And what are the rewards for um, completing the three-point challenges, the dunk challenges, the 2K RK? What are the rewards? Is it just going to be VC or is it be special clothing like I said in my top 5? Are we going to see special clothing items that you only can get from getting a certain score on like the 2K arcade or getting a certain score in a dunk contest and you can wear like a certain shirt. And I feel like another thing with the neighborhood is that they're going to be, they have to with like go like up degrade how the neighborhood looks. We cannot have the same neighborhood throughout the whole year. Like during Halloween, they have to make it maybe at nighttime, make it a little bit more darker, maybe some decoration. And Christmas, maybe snowing. Like the neighborhood expands the 2K horizon. Like the park kind of constricted it because everything had to look like a sunset beach or old town flyers. They couldn't really change the environment too much, but with the neighborhood, they can change it to anything they want. They can make it like a playoff atmosphere when the playoffs come and put like posters of players and like show like special events for the playoffs. I feel like that this is a better idea than the park. The park constricted 2K, I think the neighborhood expands the horizon. So I'm really excited for this neighborhood. Only thing everybody wants to know is the servers, how the server is going to be. I'm going to run through this, see if there's anything else. I like the free roam aspect. The training facility is going to be my home for the, for the beginning part. I think the stores, I, I want to see how the stores work because once again, we have to depend on these servers for so much more. It's, it seems like every year they're putting more and more pressure on the servers. And I feel like one day they're going to have to like address the elephant in the room and say like the servers are going to be great this year or say something, but they haven't said anything yet. So I'm kind of scared. The swag stop, the foot, the barbershop, like I said, you guys can see, let me barbershop. walks into the barbershop. There's people sitting in line. He kind of cuts everybody. So maybe there won't be a line. But how does that work when your friend leaves the barbershop? How you, are you going to see him getting his haircut? Because I see more stuff on the surface. I want to see how 2K does that. But to end this video, I don't want to be too long. I'm really excited for this. But like I said, 2K is putting more and more pressure on these servers. If you guys see anything that I missed, the double archetype system. Let me talk about that real quick. I know. I like the idea of a two archetype. So I love it. But I feel like everybody's going to have a little bit of a sharpshooter in them. I don't see anybody making a slasher or a lockdown defender. I Man, I don't know what people are going to make, but mine already is going to be primary lockdown, secondary sharpshooter. You know what I'm saying? I want to be a defensive juggernaut. And they, I know that's going to be possible this year. I really feel like this 2K is really focusing on you, making your unique player. There won't, you guys see all these new hairstyles. Right from this cutscene right here, right from this trailer, new hairstyle in the game. It's gonna be a very unique 2K. 
you really got to salute 2K. So, thank you guys for watching. This is my reaction video breakdown of the trailer, really. And I'll see you guys later. Peace. There may be a part two if I find some more stuff. It's already at 10 minutes. That's crazy. And I feel like there's so much more I want to talk about. So, there may be part two coming tomorrow, but we'll see. Peace, y'all. Thanks for watching.